with your Project Nerd News break for Friday, March 4th. From the Project Nerd Newsroom, I'm Justin Howard. Russian filmmakers are now suffering the consequences of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The 75th Annual Festival de Cannes has announced that official Russian delegations nor officials with the Russian government will be allowed to participate. However, organizers have applauded the efforts of Russians who are protesting the invasion. The European Film Awards have also decided not to allow submissions of Russian films, but similarly applauds those Russians protesting the invasion. Russian cinemas are also feeling the effects of the consequences of the invasion. Disney, Sony, Warner Brothers, and Paramount Pictures have all halted upcoming releases of major films in Russia. That includes films such as The Batman, Morbius, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, The Lost City, and Turning Red. The consequences of the invasion have also affected Russian athletes as FIFA, soccer's international governing body, announced they are barring Russian teams from events, including the 2022 World Cup, and Formula One also has ended its contract with the Russian Grand Prix. The consequences have also affected Russian concert goers as Green Day, AJR, former One Direction member Louis Tomlinson, Rock Band Health, and Youngblood have all announced they are canceling performances in Russia. Netflix is continuing its push into gaming. Variety reports that Netflix is planning to buy Finnish mobile game developer Next Games for $72 million. Next Games is responsible for mobile games based on Stranger Things and The Walking Dead. The deal is expected to close in the second quarter of 2022. The deal comes just six months after Netflix purchased gaming company Night School Studio, the developer best known for the supernatural mystery title Oxenfree. And finally, Futurama fans rejoice. Contract negotiations are complete, and John DiMaggio is back. DiMaggio, the voice of the foul-mouthed robot Bender, took to Twitter on Tuesday simply saying, quote, I'm back, baby, end quote. DiMaggio let fans know that the negotiations were ultimately about self-respect and, quote, being tired of an industry that's become far too corporate and takes advantage of artists' time and talent, end quote. Futurama is returning to Hulu in 2023. For the latest in pop culture, visit project-nerd.com on social media, on YouTube, where you download your podcasts, and don't forget PNTV streaming soon on Roku, web, and mobile devices. This has been your Project Nerd News Break for Friday, March 4th. From the Project Nerd Newsroom, I'm Justin Howard.